For those who battle addiction, it's a long and difficult road to recovery. And after spending half his life using heroin and in and out of prison, Danny Shannon has done what many struggle to do, turn his life around. And as I found out, he's now helping others to do the same. There was nothing could stop me. A dingy stairwell in the heart of Sydney's Cabramatta. I was an animal. It was like I had this beast of addiction in me. Once meant serious business for Danny Shannon. Well, I feel like my rock bottom went for 17 years. He spent half his life scoring drugs here in the 90s when heroin was on almost every street corner. My most memorable night on this street was the day I overdosed in front of an ambulance. Did you ever have a moment where you thought, I'm going to die? Well, I died many times um, throughout my addiction. I would use as much as I could and as much as I had available. So I would often end up um, overdosed, you know. I, there was more than one occasion where I ended up with broken ribs from the paramedics giving me CPR. But I didn't really think I was going to die in those. It was like I was invincible. How many times did you have to get revived? And I reckon how many... 15 times. 15 times? 15 times. Why didn't you die? I could tell I was going to drop, basically, by the taste in my throat, by the feeling. I knew I was going to overdose. So I'd always try and get my ass somewhere where someone would find me. You're a lucky man. I am <laughs> such a lucky man. So many people have, have passed away from heroin overdose, you know. 99% of the people I know that have died have been from heroin overdose. How much do you think you would have spent over the years buying drugs? It's got to be millions. Millions? It has to be. Like, if, if you just break down a habit to $200 a day, <laughs> yeah, millions, easy, of course. Danny Shannon funded his drug addiction by committing crimes. He was constantly getting caught breaking into businesses, stealing cars and in high-speed police pursuits. He spent six years in and out of jail, even escaping in 2001 by scaling the fence here at Silverwater Jail. There's nothing but escape running through my head. And I was in the river, I'm swimming <laughs> for freedom. After more than 50 attempts at rehabilitation, finally, it worked. And I remember the day on the 15th of September 2009, it's like all of this stuff just hit me like a ton of bricks. Danny says he's never used again and he's never forgotten. So this is a young you here, Danny. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, that's me in active addiction, absolutely. I look about 25 there. I look terrible. What do you see? I was just this shell of a human being, you know? My joy was getting on, you know? I was just this empty shell. That's what I see, wow. After a few years clean, Danny recorded this video message to his future self. You were so lucky, Danny, that's what you are, mate. You've worked hard for what you've got, but um, look, actually, what I'd like to say to my future self, well, I mean, I hope you're good. When he watched it back five years later... Danny, I hope you are a good person. ..he realised the concept could help others heal too. I noticed I was able to be talking about stuff like I'd... Um, with no fear, you know? Danny's app, Encapsulator, is now helping countless survivors like Jessica Gaddis. She recorded her video and locked it in the digital vault for 18 months. She's watching it for the first time. Who's the person you see there? Um, I see someone that's still processing through, you know, life. You know, as you can tell, I'm quite emotional when I'm talking about the people I care about. At 22, Jessica spiralled into an ice addiction that would last six years. It all fell apart really quick. I was constantly scared. I had no idea what I'd fallen into. She too spent time in jail, enough to make her realise she needed help. 
when you were sitting there at your rock bottom, what were you thinking and feeling? I just kept looking around me going, how did I end up here? I've gone from an all girls Catholic high school student, real estate agent, property owner, to here. We as humans, I believe, don't really give ourselves the backing that we really should. Councillor Piero Mardesic says Encapsulator can help addicts own their recovery. Because we get to grow from that. We get to really look inside ourselves and go, hang on a minute, I am normal and I do have tough days and it's OK, I just need to keep pushing forward and that level of accountability to yourself is taking responsibility. A level of accountability people like Jess are proud of. People trust me again. You know, I wouldn't give up this life for anything or anyone ever again. Your smile says it all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I get to do whatever I want and I don't have to look over my shoulder anymore. Relapsing is never far from mind for Danny and Jess. But now they have so much to live for. Even through all my addiction, um, through all the pain, hurt and misery, I still had this glimmer of hope or fantasy. I reckon it was fantasy that one day life was going to be OK, you know? Would you change it? I think I have the most amazing life I could ever wish for. So why would I change the past? Like, I think it's the past that has put me here, right here today. He's an inspiration, isn't he? And if you'd like more information about the Encapsulator app, head to our website.